For the past 18 months in a cold room by the Melbourne docks, 80 kilograms of expensive French cheese has sat, ageing ungracefully, as a war was waged about its future. The consignment was denied entry into Australia because the cheese is made from unpasteurised milk, breaching the Food Standards Code. Today, after months spent challenging Australia's food safety rules, the Melbourne-based importer was forced to back down and the French fromage was farewelled with full honours. I accept it, we may have lost the battle, but uh, I haven't, certainly haven't lost the, the lust to sort this one out. I've been fighting for raw milk in Australia for the last 10 years and I'm not about to give up now. Will Studs' one-man crusade to allow soft cheeses made from unpasteurised milk to be sold in Australia was dealt a serious blow today. The cheese importer has been fighting Food Standards Australia after authorities refused to allow this consignment of Roquefort cheese into the country. We've effectively set a precedent for banning raw milk cheeses in Australia unless they're extra hard grating cheeses. And it means that at least for the next two or three years we'll never be able to make those sorts of cheeses here. Historically, Australian cheeses have been made from pasteurised milk, heated to 72 degrees for 15 seconds to kill off bacteria. But Will Studd says some Australian cheesemakers, like their overseas counterparts, are keen to start making cheese with raw milk, a product he says is perfectly safe. Roquefort hasn't had a problem for as long as anyone can remember and it goes back at least 1,200 years. As I say, it's sold in every country in the world and finally they refused to test this cheese when it came into the country. In fact, I had it tested before it left France, so it met Australian microbiological limits. In April, Will Studd took Food Safety Australia to the Administrative Appeals Tribunal. After six months on death row, the sentence was finally handed down. It was all over for the cheese. Today, Will Studd organised a few friends to say goodbye. Watched on by a quarantine official, Will Studd farewelled his beloved cheese, which by now was well on the nose. He faced a $100,000 fine or 10 years jail if he tried to sell any of it. How hard is it to see the, um, the cheese go under with all of this rubbish? Well, it's a terrible waste. It's totally inappropriate. I mean, we should be enjoying the cheese. Having said that, it's a bit old now, so probably it's where it deserves to go. Will Studd now plans to form a group to lobby the state government and says he hopes common sense will prevail. A little bit lonely, but very sad. I mean, Rockford is considered the king of all blue cheeses and I just uh, felt, you know, the king is dead. But uh, we'll, we'll come back, we'll have another go at it. Kerry Ritchie reporting.